Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at Grass Blade version 2. Grass Blade version 2 is made available by the folks at B Production and this release is extremely awesome. It comes with a lot of things. First off, you're getting 204 biomes and over 550 assets. Now you guys might be asking, you know, what is the new thing about this despite the fact that it comes with all this? You have access to a lot of things that you can combine. Depending on what you're trying to create, this thing makes it extremely easy. A couple of clicks set up and you're good to go. And you can get a hundred percent or render and you can tweak these things to your liking now some of the things that you'll be getting with this despite the fact that it is also compatible with scatter 5 which we're going to talk about later is the fact that you can get tons of grasses and biomes with this and some of the grasses you'll be getting is like the clean grass the dry grass the field flowers garden grass rock ground wild grass pebbles dead leaf mulch and also tall grasses so depending on what you want to create you can just simply pick it up and start working with it now to actually explain how this things work we're definitely going to dive directly into blender and check it out so with blender simply open all you need to do is go over to edit go over to preference and install the add-on and once you install it press n on your keyboard and you'd notice that we have grass blade right here how you can use the grass blade add-on is extremely simple create the grid select the grid select the biome you would like to scatter and scatter and this is how easy it is for you to go from nothing to something beautiful like this of course if you like to preview this you can simply switch over to render and you can see this beautiful grass that you You've just me. So some very huge customizable features with this one is the fact that you can play with the density so in this case we can go to 50 if this is kind of density we're going for you can randomize this if you like you can also choose to play with the scale so let's go over to 0.8 if you like to rotate this on any of these axes you can and in cases of randomization like we've just mentioned you can also go in randomize the scale if this is what you want to do or randomize the density seeds and this is also pretty nice for those who like to go ahead and you know paint your vertex groups of course you can so let's go in and make this 150 so we can have enough to actually explain that what we can do is hit the paint button and then you can tap F on the keyboard to increase your brush size if you have it small like I do and you can paint these things out so once you paint, you can paint some part out and you'll notice that this gives you that flexibility of customizing your scatters however you want them to be. So with this here, there's actually a whole lot of things that you can add in terms of biomes that exist with this tool. And how you can actually start adding some of this is by going over to the section where you have the add biome and now you'll notice that this is set to all. If you like to view these things based off categories, you can click on this drop down and you can see the clean grass, the dead grass, some dry grasses, field, flowers, garden grass, the mulch, pebbles, rocky ground, tall grasses, and also wild grass. So if you would like to get something that has to do with flowers, of course, be my guest. Click and you can find them from here. And of course, you can also select any of them and click on load flower pattern and most of the times patterns actually come with more than just one biome which means they're going to also add up to the number of layers that you can get which is very interesting because you don't need to go in and place these things one after the other you already have a pattern that you can tweak and get the best result out of and while we talk about the idea that these things come as layers if you also go in you can choose to mute some layers if you don't want to get them visible and you can actually turn some of them off if you don't want to get them them rendered and what i mean by this is very simple if we go over to where we have the cut grass we can turn this off and you can see that disappears we can also turn off the bush if we don't want to have that if we don't want to have the white flowers we can also turn these ones off so depending on what you want to do at a given time you have all of these flexibilities and you have this full control of things that you can now do with an add-on like this something else which also makes a lot of sense is in most cases while playing with patterns you would notice that most patterns actually work with the texture data and this texture data is basically how these patterns get to be driven directly on the surface that you're working with so a good example is with this white flower selected if we go all the way down to where we have the texture data you notice that we have the brightness and also the contrast and this deals with zeros and ones and you can easily increase the brightness you notice that this starts having more coverage contrary to other biomes that we have here and you can also play with the contrast and get some pretty cool result you can choose to also play with the skill if this is also something that you're into you can play with the skill you can play with the randomization for the transforms and this would actually give you some more interesting patterns 
that you can start creating stuff with. And with a couple of clicks, you can now build that beautiful landscape that you've always wanted to create. Something else which you can also do is if we create another grid and let's say you have multiple geometries and you like to scatter things on these geometries, or let's say you like to add multiple biomes on different geometries that exist within the same scene. What you can do is you can go over to this grid section, turn this off, use the eyedropper, select the platform or the geometry you like to scatter stuff on, select the kind of thing you like to scatter. You know, you can go wild with this. Let's take a look at some pebbles right now and we can look at some pattern pebbles. There's some very cool ones. Yeah, this is a very cool one. Go in and click on load pebble and this would load these pebble and the patterns directly onto this plane. And once you have this here, you can start doing some very interesting stuff. Let's bring in some extra lights and actually add some more stuff. Let's go over to where we have the wild grasses or let's throw in some tall grasses. Tall grasses are cool. So let's throw in some of them. All right, the wild field looks cool. Click on load. And this is also going to load that directly in here. Now, while this loads, there's also something that most of you guys may have as complaints in terms of how you choose to work with things directly on your viewport. I do recognize the fact that most of you would like to have a much more simple viewport to work with and leave everything for render time. And of course, the folks at B Production have also considered this. And that is why they've given you proxies. So you don't need to get all that craziness directly on your viewport while working. You can just know that this is where these things are. And once you want to render, you can just go over to the render section and get these things rendering as easy as you've always, always wanted them. Folks at B Production also have the vegetation tool, which means that you can mix these things together to get some pretty cool results. So let's go in and set this right here. And if we go over to the vegetation tool, we can throw in a cactus like this. We'd like it to be within the cursor, click on add, and that will be added right over here. And from here, we can scale this all the way up and get some very cool results with it. And in this way, you have something pretty cool in just a couple of minutes. How cool is this? Now, for those who would like to work with Scatter 5 as it is still in its beta and you're wondering what kind of biomes can I use, it's worth knowing that the Grass Blade add-on is heavily compatible with Scatter 5, so you can use the biomes from Grass Blade and work with a wonderful Scatter 5. Meanwhile, for those who would like to change the shading, maybe you like to play with the shader, yes, you can. So if you go over to the shader properties, you can simply search for any of this, or you know, you can select it from there. So if we would like to play with the Grass Blade 001, you can see what we have here. You can choose to play with the parameters that you have. If you like to get these things in spring, winter, autumn, this is totally up to you. If you switch this and go over to maybe let's take a look at the flowers you can also see that the parameter changes so depending on what you want to do you can do all of these things and they are right here for you to simply take advantage of so it's a very interesting tool and it makes sense as it just simply allows you to create grasses on the fly with just three interesting clicks and for those who like to come through and check this one out you might want to go over to the link which i'm going to put in the description that can bring you right here where you can see all of the amazing things that you can do with this grass blade add-on. So if you've been wondering about creating garden grasses, rock grounds, wild grasses, football fields, all that stuff, you have an amazing tool that can offer all of this and you can start playing with it once you grab it. And this is actually available right now for 20% off. So just in case you want to pick it up, there is a coupon code grass blade version two, which you can put during checkout. And for those who like to grab this and play with it, link to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. And of course, if you like to see more stuff from the folks at B Production, you you can go over to the storefront where you can see some of the amazing things that they've created and take advantage of these things. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and until I see you guys in the next one, peace.